probably heard this one before. If we build it, they will come. Well, that is the view of some Portsmouth residents who want a community center built in the Truxton neighborhood. They'd like to see it go up on vacant property off Deep Creek and Portsmouth Boulevards, as we're showing you with this map. Tonight, City Council will take up the proposal. Ten on your sides. Ava Hurdle is live at Portsmouth City Hall. Ava? Well, in the past, Anita, residents have said this center would help reduce crime, give kids a place to play, and get involved in wholesome activities. Well, the city council has the ultimate decision on this. Right now, the large green lot off Deep Creek and Portsmouth Boulevards is vacant, but residents envision a community center there. I'm behind them 100 percent. They've told Portsmouth Mayor Kenny Wright about their vision. After about 3 o'clock in the afternoons, we've got about 14,000 of our school kids with not a whole lot of places to go and activities to do. And a, a, a community center would bring pride and investment and all types of quality to neighborhoods. And according to the mayor, a study recommends building two centers. He says there's surplus money available to fund one now. I think we can be able to come up with the funding to be able to cash fund the one here in Truxton now. There's, again, there are eight neighborhoods that could benefit from that. And then we can put the other one in the CIP and hopefully have that center online within about another two or three years. As you know, rec centers are extremely expensive. Councilman Bill Moody says he needs to know the exact cost involved. It's more than just capital money to build the facility. Uh, you have to uh, have personnel to work in the facility. There's operating expenses, so there are a lot of reoccurring expenses as associated with a recreation facility. He says such centers can cost into the millions of dollars to build and operate. It uh, does come down to affordability, uh, but I think uh, we need to eat the elephant one bite at a time. And I think we need to uh, consider it in our 014-15 uh, 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 budget. But both men agree on involving schools and churches for youth recreation. Now, according to the city clerk's office, several people have signed up to speak on this, and that council meeting begins tonight at 7. We're live in Portsmouth, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.